Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Cyclone Hunter and welcome back to Bad Boys Girl. God damn, I am still shocked. <laughs> I'm still shocked where like, you know, that this thing's still going and it's still growing. Like I just uploaded uh episode 17 today, already got 10 views, already beating Nine in the Woods. I'm honestly not surprised that it's beating Nine in the Woods, but still. Um God damn. It's just amazing to me. And then this thanks to this series, we're probably gonna hit a hundred subscribers soon, which will be awesome. And I promise we will do something amazing. If we hit a hundred subscribers, I don't know what. Um, but we're gonna do some. <laughs> um so yeah. So let's just jump on into this, because usually I talk for fucking two minutes during these things, but I have nothing to really talk about. So yeah, let's jump on into this bitch. Chapter 18. Damn it, me okay good. <laughs> I was gonna damn it, music's back, but not to anyway. Good, good. I get to I get to use my creativeness. Also, uh actually there's one thing I gotta uh, one apologize and two hope. Apologize that the Bad Boys Girl episodes have been coming out pretty fucking long lately, and I'm not making them that long on purpose, it's just they've been coming out that long. And also I hope you guys are liking the new edits that I'm doing with the uh episodes. Because... <laughs> Took a while for 16 to hit 100. No, I'm joking. Uh, just saying, because... I don't know, before I was using the tablet and, and some people liked it. Uh, I haven't really gotten any negative feedback about the new edit, so... Yeah, just, I'm just saying, I hope you guys like it. So, here we go! I can already hear the rumors flying around school. Nicole scrubbing toilets. Wait, isn't, didn't you just say this like last episode? Nicole's broke. I deserve it. It's almost funny. No, really, didn't we just hurt? Like, didn't we hear all this in the last episode? All of the mean things I did coming back around on me. And all because of the Stone Boys. Hmm. What would they have to do with it? What would. Wait, what? What would they have to do with anything? Seriously, they're the reason my life's a living hell right now. I had a chance to come back to school. But Cole made sure of it that I would never walk at graduation. Wait, what? What the fuck did he say? What exactly were Cole and Jay going to ask my opinion on all this? Oh, when exactly were they? Okay. Your furious confront the stone boys. No one fights your battles for you. Um, you're a little perturbed. Ask the stone boys about Nicole's accusations. I'm gonna be honest, I'm sort of pissed at what's going on with like everything with the guys right now. Uh, they, there's a lot of shit they should not be doing and this is actually one of them. Um, so I'm actually a bit, I would say I'm a bit furious that they did that cause yeah, she, she fucked up a bit. Like yeah, she, she did some fucked up shit but not, not the level to not walk graduation. So now I'm furious. I confront the stone boys. <laughs> Get on their ass about this. Guys! Wait, why the fu- What the hell, guys? <laughs> what? Yeah, what? Is it true? Did you really do all of those things to Nicole? Because she's sitting on my porch right now, crying the Nile. And I have no idea what to do about it. Wow, wow, sh slow down. What did Nicole do to you this time? She didn't do anything, at least not yet. <laughs> She's trying to get into your head, Tisha. Oh, yeah? Then why did she tell me to ask the Stone Boys about why she's not walking at graduation? <laughs> she got what she deserved. I don't need you getting revenge for me. Oh, what about prom? What about it? Or Hank's party? You mean the one you made me go to? Oh! Oh! Good fucking point! Good fucking point! If we never agreed to go with Cole, we would never have went in that situation. Oh! Damn! See, I don't even know if Nicole's like actually, like, you know, fucking with me at the moment and like just doing this for revenge. But if she's not, god damn, that is a fucking good ass point and I never thought about it. Damn! 
Good job, Tessa. Oh, <laughs> what happened wasn't my fault. Stop! This isn't about you looking out for me. This is about you making decisions for me, fighting my battles. <laughs> Look, we were just trying to protect you. As long as the cold's around, there'll be plenty more misery coming her way. Nobody hurts my shortcake like that. My shortcake? Romeo over here thinks he's doing the romantic thing. She has a calls all the time. I actually went down to the police station and filed a report. My dad's taking the case personally. The sheriff's department might press the criminal charges against the co- Jay, that doesn't make things better. That actually just, that, that's 20 times worse than what Cole's doing. You're wanting her to go to jail while Cole's like at least making the girl live. Excuse me? That's right, criminal charges. She could go to juvie. Fucking Jay's a fucking dumbass. Haven't you been listening to a word I've said? Thank you. Do you even think to ask me? Don't you think that's my choice to make, Jay? Goddamn! Well, I, 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 uh... <laughs> I told you it was a bad idea, dumbass. Oh, shut up already, Cole! Tasha, I'm, I'm sorry, I never meant to... I don't want to be part of your stupid, weird, brotherly pact. I don't want to be your girlfriend. I don't want to be your anything. Uh, Tashi! Oh boy, shortcake! Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Forget them. I'm done with boys for good. Yeah, I do not blame you. <laughs> oh, they look. What? May we come in? Who's we? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Whatever. <gasps> oh, shit. We wanted to talk about something. Your mother and I have agreed that it's probably for the best if we get a divorce. You know what? It's the right thing to do. It is actually the right thing to do because he was unfaithful. He was. He was very unfaithful and all this shit. And... To be honest, no, our mom deserves more. She deserves 20 times better than this piece of shit of a father we have. Um, now, I don't know how to react to it. Like, I don't know if I can even say what this can't be happening. Because I honestly don't care for the dad. The dad was, I mean, funny in season one because he didn't pay attention. But that was like supposed to be a gag. It wasn't really supposed to be, oh, he's neglecting us. Literally. That's the way I took it. I took it as, oh, he was just neglecting for, like, you know, for, like, cheap laughs. You know, like, comedy. Comedy neglect, pretty much. That's what I thought it was. But now I'm realizing he really neglected us. So now I'm not even sure if I even care. So I might just go with whatever. Nothing matters. I don't know. You guys could be moving to Canada for all I care. It doesn't matter. Tasha. Oh, wrong person. Tasha, don't say things like that. Oh. <laughs> Your mom's technically moving away. Whatever, just leave me out of it. Sweetie, do you have any questions? What's going to happen now? Your mom's moving back to Brooklyn to pursue her modern dreams. Well, I mean, me and mom have the same body figure, so I guess. <laughs> Please don't use that tone. What tone? That patronizing tone, you don't think I'm gonna make it, do you? Well, 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 you're a little old to be hand modeling. Oh, fuck, he said the wrong fucking thing. <laughs> and you're a little old to be screwing the secretary. Oh, my fuck. Does she even know how to drive, Jeff? Yeah, stick shift. <gasps> oh, my God. You did not say that shit! Oh, you disgust me. If you could have just kept it in your pants. Well, if you weren't high all the time on painkillers, maybe I'd actually feel something for you. Wait, what? Oh, so this is... 
Oh, so this is all about you. Yeah, it is. Uh, oh, I guess Travis is going out. Did you share coming too? Uh, I thought they were happy. Yeah, those mom and dad were, you know, would have expected you to know this. I mean, shit. Travis, why does your voice keep on changing? Hell of I know, babe. Don't call me babe. Okay. You need help. <laughs> that rope between the stones and the coal and, you know, everything. Yeah, I guess you're right. So what happens now? I don't know. That's it. I'm the man of the house now. So we're basically parentless. Ah, two orphans just traveling alone. You know what they told me last night. That it's time for me to take some responsibility for my life. What a joke. Oh, dear Lord, how can they be so selfish? Ah, I don't know. Hey, go on, idea. Let's cheer you up, yeah? I don't know if I'm in the mood. Come on, I'm picking up bed in a little while. Why don't you come to dinner with us? But won't it be weird with me as a third wheel? No, maybe you'll meet the love of your life. On a dinner date with my brother. Anything's possible. Oh man, I thought they were gonna give me a choice. Oh man, I feel bad now. I don't wanna do this to Beth. They're there, aren't they? What is he doing here? Oh, oh. We thought you could use some company. What? Okay, look, Beth, I don't want to say shit to Beth. I don't want to say shit to Travis, to be honest. Because they, I mean, yeah, I get it. They don't want me to be alone. I mean, double date thing would work. But Jay? Jay, the fucking dumbass that wanted Nicole arrested for something so minor than this shit. Like, so minor to get thrown in juvie. Like, yeah, bullying's a huge offense. Yeah, I mean, I understand that. It is. And some kids, they do go too far. But this one wasn't, like, it was mid-level, but it wasn't, I wouldn't even say mid-level. It was like in between mid and the level of juvenile. It wasn't on juvenile level, though. It was just trying to embarrass someone to death, pretty much. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, I guess if she did do it, Quality Tessa would have, you know, suicidal thoughts and shit. But, still, not to get arrested. Because it backfired on her anyway. So, she's already going through hell. She don't need to be going to jail. Run, bitches. Sorry. I, I, don't, know who to, I don't know who to be pissed at. Um, I guess, oh my god, this is humiliating. God, I'm so embarrassed. This was your idea, wasn't it? <laughs> Maybe. Why didn't you just ask me? Why doesn't no one ask? Because you... Because you would never have come. You've been locked in your room for days now. What is with everyone thinking they know what's best for me? <sighs> I mean, to be honest, I, I am pissed at the moment. This is not a date. <laughs> You're right. It, it's not a date. It's, it's whatever you want to be, Tessie. It's your choice to make. Shut the fuck up. Well, we're all here now, so let's eat, I guess. God damn. I swear, they, they told me you knew I, I would be here. It's fine, Jay. God. Pardon me, monsieur. Would you like a glass of wine this evening? Nah, no thanks. I haven't going out two months now, so... Oh, please forgive me, and congratulations. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> ha 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 make a nice couple that don't say shit and to say I agree I mean don't get me wrong I've always been skeptical on your stone boys but I think Jay's a real winner hey so handsome this isn't creepy at all when did Beth and Travis become my parents all oh, right when mom and dad went crazy I agree with Beth on the nice couple thing. What do you think? No, we're not a couple. Once again, this is not a date. And we are not a couple. Not right now, but who knows what's in the future for holds. I appreciate the gesture, but I don't think I'm ready for anything yet. 
No one's asking. Not tonight. Good. Yeah, we got it. You sure, babe? Of course. My pleasure. Hey, I, I have an idea. Do you like surprises? Who doesn't? There's this place I want to take you, and I, I think you'd really like it. What kind of place? I tell you, it's not a surprise. If I can give you a hint, it's a place where we can score. No thanks. No thanks. I'd rather just stay out with Travis and Beth. Uh, of course. Would you like uh, coffee or dessert? Do you want to share the cheesecake? <sighs> I hate how they're just throwing this at me now. I was hoping you'd say that. Beth, are you okay? Where are you going? Uh, it's getting late. I can take you home. Oh, I can. It's, it's not a big deal. Uh, it's fine. Jay can take me home. I'll see you later tonight. Bye. Hey, listen, Tessie. I, I thought about what you said. And if I ever overstep my bounds about anything, a cold, cold, whatever, I'm really shy. I know. I have no regrets about Nicole getting what she deserved, but I, I do regret never hurting you. Okay, first of all, that's the thing though. You going that far is what hurt her. You should not have went that far, you fucking dumbass. I don't need you doing things behind my back. I, I won't, not anymore. You have my word. I'm done with Nicole and Fatty Tessie and everything that happened before prom. I just want to move on with my life. And I can't do that with you and Cole trying to control me. I want to move on too. I know you didn't choose me, but that doesn't mean we can't enjoy some cheesecake together. And be friends, right? Fucking liar. <laughs> we know what you're trying to do. Oh, uh, this was fun. Um, thanks, I guess. I, you don't have to thank me, Tessie. Da da. Oh shit! What's she doing here? I, I think she's crying. And drunk. Shit. Hold on. What are you doing here? Uh, this this used to be our spot when things were so much simpler. <laughs> when we were all friends. That was a long time ago, Nicole. And before you decide to ruin my life. I, I, I just don't understand what happened. What changed? You did. You changed. She's drunk, Jay. Don't listen to her. Was I really all that bad when you really think about it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you were. Can you ever forgive me? I don't know what you've got up your sleeve, Nicole. But you moping around like this, it doesn't shoot you. You should go home. Get some sleep. I'll call you a cab. I'm sorry, Tessa. I, I shouldn't have taken Jay away from you. I knew you always liked him. And I knew he meant the world to you. Shut up. Wait, I want to hear her. Wait, let's hear her out. You're always a sweetheart to me. And Tessa, Jay. And I, I wish I could take back the past. You can't. What's done is done. Tessa, he used to talk about you in his sleep. He dream about you. Just being mad. He never really loved me. Not the way he loves you. That's enough, Nicole. Wait, Tessa, Tessa, please. Please forgive me. I hope you've really changed, Nicole. Truly, I do. But I can't forgive you. Oh, but I can't forget. And I can't forgive you. Oh, it's, uh... I mean, I understand, but... God damn it. See, I started early and look at this. We're already at 20 minutes. God damn it. Wow, I, this has been an eventful night. I'll say. She's okay, right? Nicole? Yeah, the cab driver said she'd pick her up in 5-10 minutes. I had a good time regardless. A nice dinner. A nice dinner. Uh, two friends. Uh, yeah, uh, me too. Uh, uh, it's your friends. Wow! Do you hear that music? Uh, yeah, that's strange. 
<laughs> Whoa, what the fuck is going? Oh, no. Cole, what the hell are you doing inside my house? And who the hell are all these people? Time for a rage, shortcake. <laughs> I know you've been mad at me and all, but don't worry. Killstone always knows how to cheer you up. <laughs> I don't think you do. I like music, though. Uh, uh, uh. Wow. So, that is it for this one. <laughs> Goddamn. Um, shit. Well, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe. What the fuck? I don't, I don't know how I'm feeling about any of this no more. Because the whole mom thing with dad, yeah, it's a typical, you know, divorce shit. It always happens. Because that happened with me and my family. Uh, my dad did the same shit, pretty much. He cheated on my mother. Um, we were forced to live with him, though. Because, uh, you know, some court shit. But, um, you know what? We turned out fine. Like, we didn't turn out hating, uh, well, we hate our dad, pretty much. We hate our dad because of the way he was. Not towards our mom. Well, yeah, towards our mom and pretty much towards us, too. Because he wasn't really a father. He was more like, he was more like that drunk friend you never want to hang out with. But, um, I still made the effort to try to talk to him again. Like, you know, try, try to keep him... In my life, because uh, nobody should, you know, um, live a life without a parent, like a mom or a father, Even, no matter how bad they are. I don't know, y'all guys, y'all guys mean like the world to me. I, I think y'all guys are like family, practically. Um, now, if you ask me for money, then y'all guys ain't family. <laughs> no, no, but really, um, I, I don't have no problem sharing this shit with y'all guys, because, I mean... You know, I mean, everybody has a past. Everybody has it. Um, and my shit, I like seeing the good side of it. So um, it doesn't really hurt me anymore. If anything, it's sort of it's sort of funny <laughs> when you think about like everything. Like that's how I pretty much deal with the depression shit. Um, I just make it into a joke or a fun shit, and that's why I do this because it's also like a little bit of a stress reliever for me because um, I'm able to joke about joke around with my stress and shit, and then also joke around with this shit too. So yeah. Uh, so, so again, I'm talking a lot at the end. I'm very sorry. It's just, uh, I don't know. It's just the whole divorce thing got in my head because it's such a serious thing. And now it's becoming like normal childhood, like phase, like it's a normal childhood thing to happen now, which I think is wrong. But uh, I don't know. Generations are changing. I guess that's it's going to be normal soon. Like, oh, this girl fucked this guy. Now they have a baby. They're never going to talk to each other again. Kid has two Christmases all the time. Two Thanksgivings all the time. And see, uh, sometimes people joke around with like, Hey, at least I get two Christmases. It's really not fun. Because <laughs> then the parents start fighting like, You get him on this Christmas. No, I get him on this Christmas. You get him on Christmas Eve. Shit like that. But you know what? It's a serious act. That's why I'm not really going to joke around about it. I will joke around about it if it's like with me. But with other people, if y'all guys are going through, like, uh, or if your parents are going through a divorce and y'all guys are stuck in the middle of it, please try to be tough through it. Um, don't, don't hate, um, one parent if you're going, like, with the other one and, you know, they talk shit and stuff. Don't hate the other parent. Like, even if they did wrong or anything, I mean, you can have, like, a little bit of resent, but don't try to lose contact with them because then... You're going to feel like shit later in life. That's how I was. And that's why uh, this past couple months, I think I even made a video about it, why there was no videos up, um, where I talked to my father because I, I was feeling I was feeling lonely and <laughs> shit. Like, I felt like I needed my father back. So that's why I'm really getting into this stuff. Uh, I don't... Prom uh, this is another thing because I always have to put this or say it in the video because um, if I don't, uh, it's going to always get like that little... My, a little yellow sign thing saying, oh, your bitch is not monetized. Well, I don't support anything from this actual game. It's just the game itself. All of it is owned by the writer, uh, Blair Holden, and by episodes. It's not owned by me. I do not support it, and I do not, um, you know, like, support these events that happen in it. Like, I don't support the whole alcoholism, alcoholism in this stuff. I don't even know that's a word. But the whole alcohol, 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 uh, drug shit that happens in it. I don't support any of it because it fucked up my life. And I don't ever want to see anybody go through that shit, too. Because, uh, 
Because, yeah, um, I'm glad that I didn't really, you know, hate one parent. But you want to want it's it is going to happen. You are going to have a little bit of hate. But, like I said, don't try to kick them out of your life forever. Because one way or another, they're going to come back. Either your choice or in a bad way without your choice. So it's either you make it happen before uh, shit gets down and, you know, bad shit happens. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. For, if, if you guys have heard this whole fucking rant, uh, thank you guys for listening. Um, hope you guys, for, hopefully for so the people that are probably going through this shit, um, I hope you guys uh, make it through because it is it is a painful thing to go through, uh, seeing your parents that, uh, you you know, you sort of grew up with them uh, go through this shit. It, it is painful. Um but now that's another thing. Parents should also not uh, try to brainwash their kid like that. They should not do that. I mean, yeah, I get it. Tell them the truth. But don't don't brainwash them to hating the other parent. Because then that's just going to ruin the kid's life. It always happens, regardless. It's The parent's always going to try to do that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, again, sorry that this video is long as fuck. But, uh, yeah. It's just a serious issue. It's, it's a very serious issue. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, like, subscribe, share this video with your guys, friends you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Bad Boys Girl. Bye, guys.